In this video, I'm going to attempt to make a flyer in Microsoft Paint. So wish me luck and let's go. So this is a new series that I call Made in Paint and how it works is you guys send me design suggestions and then I try and create it in the original Microsoft Paint. So I set myself a timer for 20 minutes and I have to try and design something in Microsoft Paint within that time frame. I'm using an online version of Paint called jspaint.app. You can find it online, it's entirely free and I'm using it in Google Chrome as it seems to work a little bit better than Safari. So I'm gonna start my timer for 20 minutes and we're gonna get cracking, here we go. Okay, so we're here in JS Paint and we are making a revival poster. That was a suggestion by Mikey Zane Designs over on Instagram. So this is a revival poster from 1983. The first thing we do is make this a little bit easier to see. Perfect. And then we're also going to change the size of the artboard to 1500 by 1875 height. I haven't really done a lot in Microsoft Paint before, apart from the squiggly lines and paint bucket art pieces that we used to do when we were like three years old. So I'm learning this as we go. Uh, so there's going to be a few things that I get wrong and a few things that I learned along the way. Okay, so a 1983 poster talking about revival. First thing we need to do is get our colors set up. So I want to have like a Zion color, uh, which is like kind of that light, very light neon green and like a kind of off black. So let's choose our colors. We go colors, edit colors. We're going to add some custom colors here. So let's do like an off black color, kind of like that. And let's do like a neon color as well. Okay, so let's start with adding the background in. So we've got that kind of like neon color in the background. And let's just get started with adding some text. So make that nice and big. Let's do something like 400. Okay. I need to change the color of that. So we're going to go over to colors, edit colors. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's try italics. Okay, yeah, I like that. That's nice. So the only problem with uh, using paint is it's destructive. So anytime you place something down, you can't move it again without ruining, ruining everything else around it. So it's not like layers where you can pick up one thing and then move it. So you can see here, like now I've moved that, we've lost the background color as well. So this is pretty much like one shot and then once it's in, it's in. Uh, so we wanna try and get everything in place first before we start adding colors and different shapes on top. Uh, otherwise we could really ruin this. So we're gonna add a revival thing just here. Okay, I'm gonna fill it back in that color, not with that color, uh, do that one. Okay, then the next thing I think of when I think of revival is like a big crowd, like Billy Graham kind of thing. Like he was very popular in the 80s and did a lot of things, especially in the UK. So I'm gonna find a picture on Unsplash, uh, if I can spell that right, and then we'll get up a crowd. Let's just find something. And I think I'll go with like a black and white one just because it kind of matches with the theme. So we're going to bring that image in. So we go paste from, go to our downloads. Uh, I'm going to try and find that now. Okay, there we go. We're going to open that. We're going to click crop. And then I'm going to just shrink this down as small as I can. Now there's no constrained proportions like there is in Photoshop. So working out how to like get everything to fit uh, and make it look normal is basically by eye. So if I want, if this this is going to be stretched slightly differently to how the original photo was, but I don't have a choice in that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Just try and center that up as best I can. Okay, and then I'm going to move this slightly up because I've got an idea. Okay, and feel that color back again. It's definitely not the same as Photoshop. Like this is everything has to be done with this like hack or like cheat way of doing it. So we're going to add some text up here. I'm going to write church. Just realize I've got to change the color again. Like I wish I could bring the color pickers onto this side so I could just easily select it. 
but it doesn't look like there's an easy way to do that. If you know, please let me know in the comments, but I doubt there's any Microsoft Paint experts left, uh, unless your name's Bill Gates. I used to spend hours on paint when I was younger, but I never really kind of made the most of the tools. I would, like I said, I'd just do squiggly lines, paint buckets, and try and create some piece of art, <laughs> if it could be called that. I never really like tried to actually create some form of design in it. Okay, then we're gonna add the date on here as well, since it is 1983. Let's add that too. And then I'm gonna make that into brush script, which I actually really like. I think a brush script gets a lot of hate, uh, but I actually, <laughs> like, I've used it in quite a few designs and I think it, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's like the best looking font, but I think it, it carries like this classic, it's a bit like Cooper, uh, where it's got, like you see it so often on like signs in, you know, I think of it, I think of this as a lot of like a font you'd see in like a, a laundromat or like something that's very like family run. Uh, and I quite, I kind of like it. So, I mean, I imagine when people were actually, cause this was, this was a high tech tool at some point. So people definitely made things in this back in the day. And I just wonder how long things took because with Photoshop, you can kind of, really kind of quickly get your way around there but with this like you have to everything has like an extra step or extra two steps we have to really think about what you're doing i'm hoping we'll be able to finish this in in 20 minutes um we're going to add some text here uh, and i'm just going to go for like uh lord send revival by young and free and just copy some of those those lyrics in only because we're kind of a bit restricted on time so let's make that 20 Now, the only annoying thing is like you can't, um, well, I say only annoying thing. There's probably plenty of things I'm going to find frustrating, um, but you can't adjust like the text. You can't adjust the line spacing. You can't adjust the kerning. So there's a lot of stuff that I would do. I would change on here and like kind of adjust, but I can't like I would bring in the kerning of the revival there and make that a little bit um, closer together, but I just can't. So one thing I learned when I was playing around with this is you can actually adjust the stroke of rectangles and ellipses and stuff like that by going to the line tool and then changing the thickness of the line and then going back to the rectangle tool. So if you're looking for a hack in Microsoft Paint, then I've just told you one, you're welcome. This wasn't meant to be a tutorial, but apparently it is. So we're gonna have a little box there um, and then we're gonna add probably like another strap line down here and we'll make this let's make this the same as the top let's make this Georgia as well put that there now I realize this isn't gonna be centered there are no guides or guidelines on uh, on Microsoft paint so we're just kind of winging it here and I know already I can see like the right hand side is is a bit more spaced out than the left hand side so it's going to be a little bit janky but we're making it in microsoft paint i'm i'm already quite impressed with how far we've already managed to go with um with this tool i think you could actually do design on here like i, I don't think it's impossible so let's add the date in as well and because this is an imaginary date let's do my birthday just to let everyone know my birthday is august 13th 1997 so if you want to get me anything if you would like to get me food or a gift or whatever, it's August 13th, just send it to, to me. Just send me a DM and uh, I'll welcomely receive anything you give me. Thank you. And let's stick that in an ellipses because that makes everything look better. And there's like no way of centering things up. So it really is just a case of doing it by eye. Um, which hopefully I'm not too bad at. I feel like I've spent enough time in Photoshop to kind of know when things look about right. But I, I always do rely on guides. That's like my, it's one of my favorite features of Photoshop, which I'm definitely missing here right now. So let's do like a darker rectangle here and we'll make that text obviously the same color on the top. And let's do the location. So in my imaginary revival world, this is gonna be at St. Paul's Cathedral in London, if you haven't been before, go, it's huge, pretty amazing. If you haven't been to London before, I'd recommend going to London. 
Okay, so we got the location, we've got the date, we've got like a little bit of a strap line, the main heading, which I think looks a little bit like a magazine, but that's not the end of the world. And so maybe we just add a couple more lines of text in just to kind of sell the effect. This is a real, a real thing. So we use Arial again, I think about 24. Um, and let's just grab another line from, from Lord Send Revival. I don't think you can even, I was just looking, I don't think you can even uh, align the text. I don't know if you could even center align it or right hand side align it. I think you literally just get left aligned, which is good, it works for this design. But that, I can imagine that being kind of difficult for some things. Okay, we've got five minutes left. Okay, so let's just add a couple extra lines of text just to fill this out. We'll do something up here. Let's do the location again. And we'll go back to my, I, I'm really liking the Georgia font italicized. I don't know why, I just think it looks pretty cool. And I'm actually surprised with the amount of fonts that Microsoft Paint has to offer, considering that you can't do anything else apart from a paint bucket tool, a paintbrush, and a pencil, and a few shapes. I'm impressed that it's got like 16 fonts. Like you could make several designs in this and get on just fine. So if you do have a computer from the early 90s, or from the late 90s, and you're looking to do some design without buying a Photoshop subscription, then this is the tool for you. Okay, I've got a few minutes left. So let's um, add something in the middle. I kind of like that idea of doing like a, um, like a quote mark of like hallelujah. So let's go colors, edit colors, do that, put that in the middle. Again, you have to eyeball this. Okay, that looks better. Okay, and then we'll add another piece of text here. Okay, so we've got some text in place and let's try. Normally what I do is add like a few effects, like filters, like noise, maybe some uh, film dust in there. So I'm just gonna try and create some kind of texture. Um, and I'm just gonna use the spray, the spray can for that. So let's go to colors and then we'll just make that as big as possible. This is like pretty much the only effect you can do. So just, if it looks terrible, I'm sorry, but this is all I had to work with. Okay, and then I think there's just a little bit of empty space down here. So I think I'll just add, let's just do like a little um, extra thing down here. And I'll just sign it off with my name, because I guess we could call this a piece of artwork Maybe, maybe not. I'm pretty proud of this, I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was gonna go much worse than it has. Okay, then I think we are done. Here it is, a 1983 church revival flyer. Uh, as requested by Mikey Zane Designs over on Instagram. Thank you for sending that through. And hopefully I've done it justice here in Microsoft Paint, the original. I'll leave a link in the description to a full resolution version of this graphic. So go and check it out and let me know what you think. Tell me in the comments what you think I should design next in Microsoft Paint. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. It really does go a long way to helping this channel. Also consider subscribing for more videos like this to come and I'll see you again soon.